The Join Tool. Have you ever had to make a customer master list using multiple Excel spreadsheets? Or how about trying to find the differences between two sets of data using VLOOKUP? If so, the Join Tool is your new best friend. Let's head on over to your favorites bar and drop it onto our canvas to get started. If you have any SQL background, you may have already guessed that this tool combines two inputs based on a field or fields between the sets of data. The difference you'll see here is that this Alteryx tool has three outputs that result from the join. The L output anchor will have all records from the L input that did not join records from the R input. The J anchor will have all records that join from both of your inputs. And finally, the R anchor will keep all records from, you guessed it, the R input that did not have any records joined from the L input. If you're wondering how we create an outer join, don't worry, we cover that in the union tool video. Okay, so let's see this in action. Let's pretend we want to append a customer's region to our data. First, we'll start with two inputs, or in our case, two text input tools. One containing our customer orders data, and the other a list of our customer's regions. Let's join on specific field names and view our results. Looks like we have a match, but what do we have here? Our records doubled. That's not good. As the owner of the orders data, we're positive that these are deduped. The R input data is new to us, so let's dig into that one. Looking at that, you can see here's our culprit, version. There are two versions of regions, one with expected results, east, west, central, and the other containing the region of space. This duplicated our data since every time we found a name in our L input, we needed to create a record for each version combination. To fix this, let's join on an additional field. By adding version to our join criteria, we now increase our requirements for matching. Rerunning the workflow, we now see the expected result. Looking back over the configuration, you can see we can also join by record position. This can be useful in some cases. Also note, join is one of the handful of Alteryx tools that contains an embedded select tool. So that's it, one of the most popular tools in Alteryx, the join tool. Thanks for watching. You can find out more about this tool's capabilities in the Alteryx tool documentation, which can be found in the description section of this video. Keep up with the latest Data Coach videos by hitting that subscribe button. And if you have an Alteryx tool or macro you want to see included in the 2-Minute Tool Collection, give us a shout on Twitter at AskTessellation or tweet at me at Nick612Hayland. Until next time, your data coach and Alteryx ace, Nick Hayland.